Good morning, good morning. My name is Dennis Ball, and I have the absolute honor and privilege of being the Recruit Programs Coordinator here at the Massachusetts Firefighter Academy, and I'll be your master of ceremonies today for today's career recruit graduation of class 305. I'd like to welcome our uh, folks that are in the uh, family and friends today that are among us. For those who are, could not meet, uh, be here today, uh, the event will be uh, filmed or recorded, I shouldn't say the right word, uh, recorded on YouTube and it will be available uh, late afternoon. Okay, so you want to just pass that on to uh, your family and friends. Uh, Christina Mitchell over here will, will uh, she's in charge of that stuff. All right, we good? Great, thank you. All right, so on, on behalf of State Fire Marshal Peter Ostrowski and the men and women of the Department of Fire Services, welcome to the commencement exercises for graduating class 305 of the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy, Career Recruit Class, uh, Firefighter Training Program. At this time, if you could please join me in welcoming our presiding officer uh, for today's uh, ceremony, State Fire Marshal Peter Ostrowski, uh, accompanied by the official party. Please join me now as we welcome the Chiefs of the Departments to today's graduating recruits. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the entrance of Class 305 and the posting of the national and state colors.
All right, let's figure this out, boys. Figure it out. Everybody have a chair? We did practice this, yes? Outstanding. Outstanding. Thank you very much. We good? Everybody comfortable? You good? Everybody have a chair? All right. I ask you to please remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. Jason. I ask you to uh, remain standing for the invocation to be delivered by Rabbi Ideson. Let us pray. Oh God, we thank you for this gathering as we come together to honor the members of this graduating class, their families, and their instructors. We ask that you be their guide and guardian as they move through their careers with their families. Give them grace so they may be industrious, diligent, devout, and charitable in their work. Help them to grow in knowledge and strength and allow them to see that their work is for the benefit of humanity. These things we ask in your great and holy name. Amen. Please be seated. I was remiss in introducing uh, Bag Piper. Uh, led in class 305, he's led in by Piper uh, Philip uh, Chikala. He's a member of the Greater Boston Fire Pipe Pipe and Drum. So welcome everyone. I'd like to uh, introduce members of, of the official party. The, 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 the Department of the Fire Services provides a vital public safety uh, to the community. We provide firefighter training, public education, fire prevention, code enforcement, licensing, fire investigation, hazardous materials responses, responses, as well as incident support throughout the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The person entrusted to lead this agency is State Fire Marshal Peter Ostrowski. <laughs> to the Marshal's left, Deputy State Fire Marshal, as well as Acting Firefighting Academy Director Maribel Fournier. Representing the Massachusetts Fire Training Council, who is our governing body, Chief Christopher Madden of the Milton Fire Department. <laughs> Representing the Massachusetts Corps of Fire Chaplains, Rabbi Joseph Ideson of the Westboro Fire Department. <laughs> Thank you, Chaplain, for all the services you provide us. Next. 
retired Chief of, of uh, Fire Operations, City of Cambridge, Assistant Program Co Coordinator, Jack Gelinas. And lastly, Recruit Assistant Program Coordinator, David Ryan. Just a couple quick uh, thank yous before we get going. Uh, thank you to my administrative staff. Uh, every organization, as everyone knows, there are members that are unseen uh, supporting the mission. Their daily efforts absolutely make the instructors as well as my, my job seamless. They absolutely are the backbone of, of this, this, uh, this job for me. Um, I'd just like to say, thank uh, Christine Dancero and uh, Kerry Marquardt, my assistants. Thank you. And a quick acknowledgement to, to the instructors and support staff. They are absolutely fire service professionals sharing their passion for the fire service. Every day, every day in this Commonwealth, an emergency occurs. Each morning, it's almost assured that an instructor or a support member on any of our three campuses was a participant in that event. Their experiences are absolutely shared live. Timely lessons are learned. We have lively discussion and debate about those events. We learn the good, the bad, and the ugly. And based upon that experience, experiences, we are able to uh, modify lesson plans to meet the current circumstances in absolute growth and academic thought. As a result, the citizens of the Commonwealth absolutely, absolutely benefit. And the rec recruits sit here today prepared to meet the challenges of the job. So thank you for your passion and dedication to my instructors and uh, support staff. Thank you so much, guys. All right, at this time, it's my absolute honor to introduce State Fire Marshal Peter Ostrowski. Good morning, everyone. It's my great honor and privilege to welcome you all here on behalf of the men and women of the Department of Fire Services today as we celebrate the accomplishments of Class 305. So, welcome. We planned perfect weather for today. We rolled out the red carpet. We're honored to have you with us. Uh, as you can see, I left my notes up here and Mr. Ball used my speech. So, I'm, I'm left with uh, having to ad lib something. Uh, but I do want to uh, join him and in, in the rest of our uh, management team and the uh, men and women of the department in thanking our uh, instructors and support staff. Uh, it's, it's notable that all of our instructors, our, uh, our team here is made up of uh, fire service professionals, active and retired, who want to give back to the industry, who want to give back to their brother and sister firefighters, uh, and they do so through uh, their service here at the academy, whether it's on site here in Stowe or at our other campus locations, or across the Commonwealth, providing their, um, their uh, knowledge, skills, and abilities for the benefit of their uh, brother and sister firefighters. And I think it's appropriate for us to give them another round of applause. Uh, I want to extend a heartfelt welcome uh, to the Chiefs of Department and members of the Fire Service here in support of their recruits as we again uh, mark this special day. Uh, we appreciate you entrusting these recruits to us at the Academy. Uh, we appreciate the opportunity to provide service and we appreciate your efforts uh, in your communities and in support of the Commonwealth and Nation's Fire Service. So thank you for joining us and thank you for your support of these recruits as they've gone through these 10 weeks of training. We know that it was a long road for them to get here. It was a long road for them while they were here and uh, in very much um, a significant way, uh, it was the support uh, at the firehouse that, that got them to this day. So thank you for joining us and, and being with us and celebrating this as well. And a special thank you and welcome to the uh, family and friends of these recruits. We know that a lot of things get left to be done uh, while they're in recruit school, and I'm happy to tell you that that's not going to change one bit. <laughs> they're going to depend on you, um, you know, every day as that support network. We know that when we sign on, we have 
brother and sister firefighters that we'll work alongside of through thick and thin, but we also know how valuable and important our home network is. And whether it's picking up that slack, uh, getting uh, folks here on time and back in shape for the next day when they get home, uh, picking up the extra chores, missing those holidays and special events when the bell rings and they have to take off. Um, we know how critically important it is. So know too that you too have uh, signed on, whether you're, uh, this is your first experience or you're a multiple, a multi-generational fire service family, we welcome you to your second family, the fire service, so welcome. Class 305, congratulations, you made it. Now 305, I want to assure you, we, Mr. Ball did do a head count, and we know that uh, those two chairs that were missing were not members of 306 that snuck in and tried to short circuit the process. I can't say for certain that it wasn't a practical joke that 306 might have played on you to take two chairs away. And that got me to thinking about today's event and your experience and future in the fire service. You know, today really exemplifies uh, the whole spectrum of things that you've been through in arriving at and achieving these 10 weeks. In our business, we have a strong family network with our brother and sister firefighters that probably results in more than one practical joke in the firehouse or out there in the field. We have strong traditions that are exemplified by the pipes leading you in. We have strong beliefs as exemplified by our invocation and benediction from the chaplain. But we also have the challenges of the fire service. We have the benefit of those who we work alongside of and went before us and made a path we have the knowledge that they share with us and the experience that we will also gain as we continue on. And we face challenges in the fire service every day. We have to see those traditions, our faith, our beliefs, and our training and skills, because those will always serve us well as we march forward but we also have to recognize that the world's in a constant state of change. And as we approach new endeavors and new things, they impact our job, they impact our lives, they impact our families, and we need to be prepared for that. So today, take a deep breath. Take all this in and enjoy. You've achieved it. You're transitioning from walking in here 10 weeks ago with the title of recruit and walking out of here today carrying the title of firefighter. It's a noble calling. Make sure that you represent us all well because whether you're walking down the street in civilian clothes with some emblem of your job on or in your turnout gear, you represent all of us in the fire service. And remember, too, to take advantage of the opportunities that you have to build upon the foundation that you've received over these 10 weeks. We all wish you the very best for a long, healthy, and prosperous career. Congratulations. At this time, I'd like to invite Chief Madden to the podium to present the Richard N. Bangs Outstanding Recruit Award on behalf of the Massachusetts Fire Training Council. Good morning. Richard N. Bangs was the chairman of the Massachusetts Fire Training Council for many years. Upon his retirement, the council voted to name the Outstanding Student Award in his honor. The Career Re Recruit Training Curriculum is designed to train and evaluate students in basic skills of the firefighting profession. This course is demanding, 
both physically and academically, and completing it is an accomplishment worthy of recognition. In each class, there is one student selected who has excelled in the training program, and this student is named as the outstanding student of the class. This award is based on the student's total academic and practical skills, testing and evaluation. At this time, I would like to invite Chief Robert Emerald of the Danvers Fire Department to join us on stage. I am pleased to present the Richard N. Bangs Award to the outstanding student of Recruit Class 305 to Firefighter Nicholas Bean of the Danvers Fire Department. You have my permission. Let's go. Strike a pose. Right, kids, break it up. Let's go. <laughs> So truly, that's that's uh, an absolute privilege and, and um, great work. All right, these, these uh, awards are not given out lightly. Um, there are fractions, and I say when I literally say fractions of, of percentage points that separate the number one to, to the number two and number three, and number four. Um, it's it's truly um, spectacular the effort you guys put in and, and gals put into this. So congratulations. All right. Um, First day here, right? Yes, sir. Did you meet me? Yes, sir. Yes? Yes? Yes, sir. What was one of the, did I mention, I, I absolutely mentioned um, that one of the, the necessities of the person who won the, the, the award for the best student, all right, would have to come up and sing a couple of show tunes. <laughs> Do you remember that? No? And, and it's show tunes because we're particular to show tunes. Anyone you want. As long as it has a little bit of thing to it, you go with that. So you either, you either can sing me a song, all right, to myself, the Chiefs, all right, or you can come up and say a few words. And what's your answer? All right, great. Come on up. <laughs> Uh, just bear with me. I'm not best, the best at public speaking, but uh, class 305, after 10 weeks, we're finally here. Uh, day one, I know, was uh, intimidating. We're all confused, uh, but I think we're all the best of friends, brothers and sisters now. Um, if I can leave you with some advice or just uh, some words of wisdom, um, you know, never give up, never quit, and I hope that you all have a uh, happy, healthy, and successful uh, and safe career. Thank you. Great job. Uh, at this time, I'd like to call upon the recruit assistant coordinators, Mr. Jack Delinas and Mr. Dave Ryan, to call the roll of today's graduates. Uh, friends and family, uh, please come up, take some photographs uh, when your firefighter is uh, called. Okay? Let's rock and roll. Ready? All right, let's go. Where do you want this? Over here. That's good. good? Yeah. 
Before we call the roll, I'd like to ask all the veterans in the class, and all the veterans in the building, please stand up. All the veterans, please stand up and be recognized. Everybody in the building, please stand up. Our veterans, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. And for our roll, we'll start off with Andover. From Andover, Fire Chief Michael Mansfield. Graduating Firefighter Lance Whitney, Jr. Fire Chief Peter O'Connor. <laughs> Graduating Firefighter Benjamin Asherton. Graduating firefighter Patrick McPherson. And from Danvers, the fire chief Robert Amaral. Graduating firefighter Nicholas Bean. And assisting in the next presentation, Dangerous Firefighter Kevin Farley. Danvers firefighter Michael Fowley, the grandfather, the grandfather and father of graduating firefighter Connor Fowley. Graduating firefighter Duncan Lawrence. Fire Chief Richard Patterson, Jr. <laughs> Graduating Firefighter Ryan Charette. And 
assisting in this presentation, Middleborough Police Officer Dylan Adams, who is the brother-in-law of graduating firefighter Brandon Hute. Assisting in the next presentation, Middleborough Fire Lieutenant Michael Diamond, <laughs> with the father, graduating firefighter Joshua Diamond. Graduating firefighter Jack Leo. <laughs> and assisting in the next presentation. Middleborough Fire Captain Tim Reed, who is the father of graduating firefighter Timothy Reed, Jr. Chief Matthew Grafton. <laughs> Graduating firefighter Nicholas Toussaint. Sudbury, Fire Chief John Whalen. And assisting in this presentation, United States Army retired Major Anthony Diorio. Who is the father of graduating firefighter Katrina Diorio. Graduating firefighter Brian Stamp. And from Truro, the Truro Fire Chief Timothy Collins. And assisting in this presentation, firefighter John Wolf of the St. Louis Park, Minnesota Fire Department. <laughs> Who is the uncle, graduating firefighter Catherine Dorsey. Wakefield, Fire Chief Michael Sullivan.
graduating firefighter Benjamin Tomsick. And of Weston, Fire Chief Justin Woodside. <laughs> Graduating firefighter Michael Massini. Chief Donald Kenton. <laughs> and assisting in this presentation, Woburn Fire Lieutenant Stephen Foley. <laughs> who is the uncle of graduating firefighter Patrick Concannon. Graduating firefighter Brett Duran. And assisting in the next presentation, Woburn firefighter David Kenton. Graduating firefighter Joseph Kenton. <laughs> Joseph is also the son of Fire Chief Kenton, a father and two sons. Class 305. Class 305, remain standing. About face. 305, about face. Say thank you to your families and friends for all the sacrifices they've endured for the last 10 weeks. Speak. <laughs> about face. Thank you. Please be seated, guys. So now it's time to call upon class spokesperson for class 305, I recruit from number 49. Um, I understand that you flew in from Paris, France, your own hairstylist. <laughs> is that true? Or is somebody just joshing me? <laughs> huh? Half and half? Was it from actually uh, Paris or some other exotic place? But I'm talking. Wow. All right, uh, recruit number 49, uh, Joshua Diamond of the Middle Bell Fire Department. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming. I'm number 49, Joshua Diamond from Middle Bell Fire Department. And I was honored and privileged to be the class spokesperson for class 305. So I have a question for everybody. What do you have when you get plumbers, electricians, landscapers, active military, 
corrections officers, and a bunch of ex-hockey players together. <laughs> I give you class 305. <laughs> As a class, we grew and we grew together. Week one, we were figuring out how to turn off our past devices and sitting scattered across the lunchroom. By week four, we were impersonating each other at a Thanksgiving-style feast in the lunchroom. Uh, it didn't matter if we were at our highest of highs or lowest of lows. When we walked through that front door every morning, we knew that someone was going to crack a wise joke, make you smile, and keep your day going. And you could really count on anyone in this class to help bring you up if you needed it, keep your momentum going, and whenever you needed it, you knew there was a hand there for you. And uh, we truly started off as just a class filled with departments from all over the state and finished as class 305. And as much as this day is centered around us as a class, it's really about everybody in this room. So thank yous are in order. First and foremost, we'd like to thank our chiefs for giving us the opportunity to truly pursue the greatest job in the world and join your firehouse. And you all truly have a great recruit and a great addition returning to your firehouses. To the instructors, thank you for your dedication. To those of you who are still active duty, you came in after long shifts just to come and teach us, give us knowledge and your information, and for that we thank you. To the instructors who are retired, thank you for coming back and giving back to the fire service and helping us begin our journey into the fire service. As a class, we'd also like the instructors to extend a thank you to your families because the times that you would be spending with them, you were here with us. After 24 hour shifts, you were here with us. After 32 years, you're still here with us. And for that, we'd like you to send a thank you to them on behalf of our class. And finally, thank you to all of our friends and all of our families. For 10 weeks, we haven't been present or available as much as we once were but you all picked up the slack. We thank you for letting us be able to turn our focus over to the fire service, and you did nothing but support us along the way. Some of you doing so while working your jobs, doing double the laundry, and making leftovers that we could take for lunch the next day. And some of you doing so while taking care of the children some with little ones on the way. You were our back ones. You kept us sane when we were studying multiple hours a night. You never questioned what the Pauls were and why they were locked. <laughs> you let us know that 10 weeks really isn't that long of a time, even though it felt like we were here for much longer. And you met us at the front door when we ran back inside because we left our water bottles on the kitchen table. For the last 10 weeks, you stood by us when we truly needed the support because you knew that soon we'd be home again and present. I'm very happy to say that time has come. Even though this is just the beginning of our journey, with many long days and nights to come, I am happy to say Class 305 is coming home. And on behalf of Class 305, we thank all of you today. Thank you. Among the traditions that we celebrate uh, in these graduations and in our fire service, uh, it's traditional for the graduating class to make a presentation of a plaque to the instructors. This plaque will be posted in the hall to commemorate class 305 and also to act as inspiration for the classes that are coming through. 
We're honored to have uh, generations of firefighters come through the academy and uh, actually return to see their plaque over the years. Uh, and this will be uh, joining that uh, collection of plaques in the front. So thank you 305 for your uh, contribution and thank you for recognizing these instructors. Thanks, guys. And if we could please stand for the benediction by Rabbi Ineson. Dear God, we pray for these incredible individuals who become firefighters today. We pray that you will protect them as they go into uncertain incidents and dangers and as they fulfill their duties as firefighters. Ever present one, give them clarity of mind, keep fresh for them the training they have received, give them nerves of steel as they encounter stressors that most people cannot even imagine. Set down your blessing upon this class and their brothers and sisters in the fire service. Protect their families and give us all the patience, judgment, and mercy to do your work. Fortify them with your divine protection so they may step forward with understanding and compassion and offer their hand to those in distress. Eternal God, keep them from harm's way and keep them safe. These things we ask in your great and holy name. Amen. Thank you, Robert. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. On behalf of State Fire Marshal Peter Ostrowski and the men and the women of the Department of Fire Services, I'd like to thank you for joining us on this very, very special occasion. We wish every member, every member of 305 only the best in their careers. I ask that you remain standing for the departure of the official party, followed by the Chiefs of the Departments, and then Piper Chikala will lead out uh, Class 305. Class 305, come to attention. Follow for your duties. <laughs>